sorry for turning you into a smoothie, Peely. But I promise, I'm going to turn you back to normal if it's the last thing I do. You know, the, the first thing I like to do is find my wife. But I guess this takes precedence. And I know just how we'll do it. We'll use the power of science. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it, you're right, Peely. I was never good at science class. The graduated cylinders always scared me. Such strange shapes. Maybe I can use the power of brainstorming. Who's smart and science-y? All right, got it. Moisty Merman. Then again, he might be extinct by now. What a sad world we live in. You know, the only person I know for sure that's alive is John Wick. He's good at everything. But last time I tried to get his attention, he completely ignored me. He's even more of a big shot in the future. He was a pretty big deal back in my day. Oh, your day too, sorry. Hmm, I'm gonna have to concoct a grand scheme in order to get John's attention. Yes, I'd like to meet with Mr. Wick, please. Yes, well, do you have an appointment? Yeah, I'm actually his 12 o'clock. Hmm, I see. Well, it is 3 p.m., sir. Did I say 12 o'clock? I have my time zones mixed up. There is only one time zone on this island, sir. Well, maybe I'm not from this island. Hmm. Although I do suppose that would explain your strange attire. No, well, the lack of shoes and long beard is totally normal where I'm from. This is a lifestyle choice. Yes, and I suppose that you're not just another bum off the streets trying to score a nice fancy hotel room for the night? I do say, sir. If Mr. Wick heard you talking to me like this, he would, he would, he'd show you his number two pencil. Mr. Wick and I have an understanding. I am not to allow undesirables inside the hotel. Oh, so now I'm not desirable. Is that what you're saying? What's your name anyway, pal? My name is Karam. Not that it's any of your business. Look here, Karen. If Mr. Wick finds out you're talking to his oldest pal Steve like this, he's not going to be very happy. That is a very backwards way of thinking about things, sir. Oh, sorry. It is obvious you do not belong here. Please see yourself out. But I have to meet with Mr. Wick! Yeah, uh, hey, Karen. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Wick. Who's this guy? You letting bums in here? John, Mr. Wick, it's me! Steve, John! I, I mean, I'm Steve, you're John! Hmm, that voice. It sounds so familiar. But... I've never met an old man like you before. No, I'm not old. It's just a really cool beard. Well, I guess I am older than you if... Well, how did that work? Well, I don't... What? Uh, I guess we're the same age. I mean, I didn't time travel. I just was sort of isolated. Steve, don't think too much. It's going to hurt your head. Oh, you do recognize me. Steve, we spent a lot of time together. Of course I remember you. Yeah, remember? I used to be your favorite before Karen. I would come over to your house, and I'd be like, hi, Mr. Wick. And you'd be like, hey, Steve. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Honestly, I thought you kind of died. I haven't seen you in years. Yeah, the last thing I remember was the volcano. And then me and Peely went into bunker. And then now I'm here. Mmm, a bunker. I suppose that would have blocked the blast. Yeah, how did you survive the blast, Mr. Wick? Well, as I've told you many times before, John Wick never dies. Or ages. I mean, look at you. You look great. But anyway, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I don't really want you stinking up the lobby too much, so let's go up to my room. Okay, cool. I could do that. I'll follow you to the grave, Mr. Wick. Well, all you have to do is follow me to the staircase over here, just, just this way. All right, we can do that, too. And Karen, don't let any more bums in. Will do, Mr. Wick. Such a charitable man, that Mr. Wick. Here we are, my apartment. Isn't it nice? Do you like it? Yeah, it's really cool, Mr. Wick. I thought you would have, like, a cool house in the desert or something, but this is nice, too. I have that, too. Mr. Wick, I'm so happy to have found somebody who remembers me. Somebody who can maybe catch me up on what's going on, how everyone's been doing. Is everyone still alive? As far as I know, everyone's still alive. I mean, they could have died from natural causes, but it hasn't been that long. Mr. Wick, what about Sunstrider? Who's Sunstrider? Oh, wait, you mean Laguna, right? Well, yeah, that's her, like, cool code name or whatever. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a while. Is that it? Yeah, you were kind of the glue that held that friendship together. Like, we don't have much in common at all outside of that. The fact that we both know you. 
Oh, well, I guess I'll have to keep looking for her then. Say, Mr. Wick, do you think I could use your bathroom to shave, shower, brush my teeth? You want to use my bathroom? Absolutely not, Steve. Sorry, but your hair would clog up my drain. Okay, well, aside from that, I have a really big problem, Mr. Wick. A big problem? What else is new? Go on, tell me. Peely is a smoothie, and I need to turn him into a big banana man like before. Mmm, I see. Yeah, I have a lot of really important stuff to be doing, but I guess I can take some time to work on this slurp juice banana into a regular banana mission. Should be marketing my new movie, but take what you can get, I guess. Wait, what? Nothing. It just so happens I'm working on a new device that might be perfect for this situation, actually. All right! I have to be honest, I've only tested this on apples and pineapples, never a banana. So... Anything could happen, but we need to try. Yeah, that's right, Steve. Anything could happen, like that army of mutant apples that I created by accident. We're definitely not going to have a repeat of that. Wait, what? I hope not. But anyway, Peely here will make a great test subject. So come on. Well, first I need to ask Peely. Peely, do you think this is a good idea? What did he say? He blinked twice. That means yes. Lead the way, Mr. Wick. Here we are, Steve. Casa de la Wick. I don't speak Spanish. You're always saying hasta luego and you don't speak Spanish? Sure. Hey, isn't this where Calamity's house used to be? Well, someone blew it up. It's free real estate, baby. Yeah, <laughs> you said the thing. Let's go inside. Come on, this way. This place is amazing! I can fit all the bananas in here. I have a potassium deficiency, so go for it. You can't eat the bananas! Hypocrisy has a name, and it's Steve. All right, well, I was surviving, but whatever. This is still a really cool house. Thanks, but wait until you see the laundry room. Oh, sweet! I can finally wash my clothes! Well, it's kind of like a faux laundry room. This, just, just wait a second. You'll see. Uh, I was really hoping it would be a real laundry room. Going down. Here we are, my secret laboratory. Wow, so how do you actually do laundry? I have people that come in and take the clothes away, and then they do something to it. I don't know. Oh, cool. That sounds really nice. No physical labor for me. Yep, totally. I have a maid, too, for my dumpster. That's called a garbage man, Steve. Doesn't count. Now hold on, I gotta stand in front of this thing. Retinal scan complete. Welcome, Mr. Wick. Whoa. Hello, robot. Shut up, Steve. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even program him to say that. I guess it's just that obvious. Right. And here we are. The creme de la creme of science places. I don't speak French either. Do you speak any languages? Some broken English here or there. I guess that'll have to do. Anyway, look, science. Whoa. Wow, Mr. Wick, look at all the science stuff. Yeah, and I took the liberty of preparing your banana transfer ritual science. Are, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, look, there's a banana host body right there. No face though, so it's kind of creepy. Don't look at it too long. Oh, God. It's horrifying. It's like a real banana. Yeah, with arms and legs, though. Gross. Yeah, that thing's creepy. But come on, place Peely on the other pedestal over there. All right, Peely. It's not going to hurt, right? I don't know. The apple mutants were screaming a lot, but that might have just been natural for them. Peely, I just want to say if this doesn't work, I'm sorry. And I tried to be a good friend for the five minutes we hung out before I started chasing you around, trying to kill you. Blink, what if you forgive me? Awesome. Wow, that was really touching. Begin transfer of banana material. What do we do? We just sit back and watch the magic. I mean, science. Yeah, there's conflicting concepts. There goes his soul essence into the science thing. Goodbye, Billy Soul message. Come back soon. And three, two, one. There's the soul again. Yeah! Into the body it goes. Wow! The transfer was successful. No way! 
How do you feel, Billy? That means he's happy. That he does that when he's happy. Yay. Oh, Billy, I'm so happy that we were able to get you back to normal. Now everyone dance. Now, come on. Cut to the end screen. Cut to the end screen. Now, now. Do it. What do you mean we don't do that anymore? Holy OGs, remember. 